Good morning, Battle High School, and welcome to the first day of the 2015-16 school year. I'm Kim Presco, the principal at Battle, and I want to share with you some of our goals for this coming school year. But, but before we start that, I want to share some of the data behind the reasons why we chose two goals to focus on this school year. Okay, you don't really want to look at data. You would rather do something engaging, I'm sure. So here we go. We're going to use a strategy called a whip around. This strategy is going to increase student engagement, enhance your memory a little bit, and improve your focus while having fun at the same time. So here we go. You'll need to find a partner. Look for someone that looks really smart. You're going to stand back to back so you can still see the screen. Um, and you're going to use a symbol like a T with your arms for true and an X for false. Then you wait for the question, answer the question individually, and turn around and see what your partner had as an answer. So when you turn around or whip around and see that your partner and yourself both had the same answer, I want you to celebrate. That might look like a dance, a cheer, something to show that you both got the same answer. If you get different answers, I want you to moan, pout, boo, whatever it takes so that you can indicate that you didn't get the same answer as your partner. Now let's have a check for understanding. Quickly explain to your partner the whip around rules. And if you have any questions, the teacher can help you because we went through this same activity in our pre-service meetings last week. Okay, let's try a question on to see if you know what to do. Okay, true, false. Dr. Presco is your favorite principal. Everybody answer the question either with a T or an X. Now, whip around. Did you and your partner get the same answer? If so, you should be cheering. If you got different answers, then you should be booing. Okay, now that you got the hang of this, why don't we start with our first data question. True or false? Battle High School's graduation rate was 90%. What I mean by 90% is that 90% of students who enter ninth grade graduated in four years. So true or false? Okay, whip around. The answer is false. Battle High School had a graduation rate of 92.5%, which was higher than the Columbia Public Schools rate of 90%. So, congratulations if you got this answer correct. Now let's move on to the next question. The next question, true or false, Battle High School students feel safer than students in other Columbia Public School high schools. Whip around! The answer is true. Battle High School students feel safe at a rate of 74% compared to their, the other two high schools at 73 and 59%. On to the next question. True or false, 90% of all Battle High School students passed all of their classes in 2014-15. Okay, whip around. The answer to this one is false. Only 78% of Battle High School students passed all of their classes in 2014-15. So on to the next question. 
tardies and truancies account for more than 45% of all discipline issues in the 2014-15 school year at Battle High School. Okay, time to whip around. The answer to this one is true. Truancy is accounted for approximately 30% of all discipline issues, while tardies were second with 16%. We had an average of 650 tardies recorded each week by our teachers. On to our last data question. True or false, the student body at Battle High School loses 2,000 days of instruction due to discipline consequences. Now, remember, truancies and tardies count for 46% of all discipline issues at Battle High School. Okay, whip around. So the answer to our last data question is false. We actually lose more than 2,800 days of instruction due to consequences for inappropriate behavior. And remember, 46% of our discipline issues come from tardies and truancies. So this leads us to our two goals. The first goal is that we want 90% of all of our students passing all of their classes by the end of the semester. We have some strategies that we're going to incorporate this year at Battle High School, but we need your help. We need you to be engaged in what we're trying to do during Spartan time. We need you to be an active participant in class um, and to follow our AVID strategies that we're using. Our teachers are also doing some additional things this year and are involved in some staff development activities around diversity. We really want to see all of our students be successful and achieve here at Battle High School. Our second goal for Battle High School is to decrease tardies from an average of 650 tardies per week to 300 tardies per week. We're going to call this the Spartan 300 Challenge. And I'll have more information about this to you in the next couple of days. So thank you for taking my little quiz and for participating in my whip around activity this morning. I know by working together we can achieve these goals because united we battle for academic achievement for all students.